Good evening and welcome to ATV News. My name is Shalama Lawson. In a special report, Jason Gallagher, our spot expert, is at Old Trafford, the legendary home of Manchester United, to give an analysis of the Euro 2012 Football Championship. It's been an exciting Euro 2012. Although some of the results we may have expected, there's been a lot of upsets. Let's take a look at what's happened group by group. Russia looks set to go through in Group A. It's up to co-host Poland to beat the Czech Republic and if they do, them and the Russians will go through to the quarterfinals. Group B, otherwise known as a group of death, has brought a few surprises. Germany are already through but it's up to the Dutch, the early favourites, to beat the Danes and go through with goal difference. Group C has thrown up a few surprises with Croatia so far topping the group. I'd expect Spanish to beat the Republic of Ireland tonight, possibly 3-0 I'm guessing, as well as Italy beating Croatia, maybe by two goals to one. England's game against Sweden tomorrow is a must win for them if they are to go through. What must be remembered is that Manchester United's Wayne Rooney is back for the final group game. Also France play Ukraine. Again that's going to be a tough one as Shevchenko is on form you just don't know what's going to happen with Ukraine playing in front of their home fans. Jason will be back next week to talk about the upcoming quarterfinals. Residents of Harare and Bulawayo are now resorting to burning refuse in public as the councils fail to collect the waste. Crispin Tavura reports. There is a growing concern among Harare and Bulawayo residents about smoke emissions caused by indiscriminate burning of uncollected refuse in public places. Residents were disappointed about the local authorities' failure to collect refuse. They urged local authorities to address the problems to keep air pollution. Kanzira nifu wana kuona shukita ni marara. Kwa ti marara ngo piso pese pese. Wana uchita TB na uda kwe marara. Nukuteta flu ya echa peri. Uda kwe marara. Nimo ya nukwe chungo fema. Nukwe chungo piso pese pese. ATV visited some of the worst affected areas in the two cities where plumes of smoke were seen billowing into the air. Bulawa Residents Association Chairman Winos Tue appealed to local authorities to improve service delivery. We should have our local authorities really be playing a very active role in making sure that whenever there is any dumping, there is collection of those refuse and make sure that it is really being taken to the rightful place where it should be deposited. But however, it is not really advisable for people to go about burning things in the open like that because it really causes environmental pollution. Over the years, local authorities have come under sharp criticism for overcharging rates while service delivery remained poor. I'm Chris Pentabura reporting for ATV in Bulawayo, Zimbabwe. HIV and AIDS volunteer organizations are now spreading their wings to high-density suburbs. Robert Tafumane gives us the story. Tagged by the plight of people living with HIV and AIDS in a community, a woman from Warren Park recently recruited volunteers to care for people living with the virus. <laughs> Jennifer Zinavashe, who is living with HIV, welcomed the establishment of a life empowerment support organization branch in the area. Lenso yaka ndi parudu. Yaka ndi pa kusungu nuka mkadime fungwa zangu. Andisha fungishu waka wanda. Andisha na stress. Dinungu sogu ndi neisha mwati zangu. Daka wanda. 
a member of the Seventh Day Adventist Church Unity Mangachena aid churches to embrace people living with HIV and AIDS. <laughs> Leso director Olive Mtaveni, who had been living with the virus for many years, commended Sereko for her initiative. She was uh, touched with the work we do, so she actually insisted that she also wanted Warren Park to have a site for Leso. That's why we are here. She added that the organization who offer training in life support projects to people living with HIV. LESO is a voluntary organization which offers home-based care and psychological support to people living with HIV and AIDS. Reporting for ATV, I'm Robert Afmani in Harare, Zimbabwe. <laughs> A Chitungwiza family is earning a living through making Mbera music instruments. Muchaneta Chimuka visited the family at their workshop. Apunyaira asha emisozi. Imwe muri emu musha wa Chitungwiza yawe kuruka mari kuburiki zani huga zirambira ni marimba. Fungi zani muzimaya wake rozi nzeru. Wabe ni makore gumi ni maviri wachi gazirambira. Niku zitenge saku nzekwe nyika ni muno. Ndagatanka kongazira marimba ni mbira hindi. Shangu, chini mdi kicha, I think ma grade 2. Ndagatanka ndi chikazira, ndi chichera, ma komba, ndi chisama pranga pa msoro, ndi chiriza. Ndo pakataka, ndo pandaka zotanka wa kufamilu, ita ndi chuna wa ita music. Vaviri haba anu taura ni jirara moyavo. Ndunura rama ni kongazira marimba, ndi chitija shukani marimba. Ndo sa... Schools. <laughs> Tivachi practice of music yao as an individual. Jekare fungiza anu taurane kutambiru wa kurikitu kwa mbira ni nyika za wano zitenge sera. Most of my countries mandaka pamba dinda ito enda andi chito introduce marimba. Saai kwa itambira shwa kanyanyi saa. Murume uyu anu sana nguza matambuziko avari kusangana nao mubasa iri. Failers kashinchi chanda kawona kuti tukwanse kutibazira pa upenyu zitunda kugadzirwa one mass production weshe ni advertisement zich advertise kwa you see weshe in fact mass production nyato gadzirwa shakawanda then uso supply wa mbira zaka kosha mupenyu weva nuwatema mazino shandis kwa mitambo ya kaita sema pira ni jimwe fineche kuita ni chivanu jiri zwa iji Jave ni mkurumbira kunze kwenyika pakatipe wa chena. Mutori we na OATV, mchanisha chimuka ndiri kuchitungwisa Zimbabwe. Children with disabilities had a rare opportunity to showcase their talents during an arts festival in Harare. Jairos Saunyama gives us the story. The Jazz Rehabilitation Center in Harare recently hosted an arts festival for children from special schools. The festival, which is the first of its kind in the country, showcased children's talents in various artistic disciplines. I feel so confident to represent um, my other colleagues which are handicapped. Despite their disability, I'm very proud to perform anything, poems, speeches, to just uh, make people uplift us and encourage us in whatever way, in everything we do, so that we will be like recognized like other children. This festival is actually ideal for the children living with disability because they get the chance to meet uh, other children who got the same challenges as, as them and they can share their joy, the sorrow, happiness and everything. And also, it's also ideal for the parents and us teachers. The festival organizer, Teacher Muzawi, 
spoke about the talent that the children with disabilities possessed. We are taking our art to the stage so that when our children grow up, they won't take their, streets, uh, their, their, their performances to the streets. Because when they take their performances to the streets, they are now taken as beggars. And when beggars are seen, they are people who are on dependence. And we don't like dependency in our country and we do not want any connotative attitudes towards disability anymore. Local artists called for more of such festivals to promote local talent. Those who have sponsored it and organized it, uh, they have actually thought of the needs and the talent that is in uh, the, these children of special needs. Uh, and actually they have actually, they are also doing what is called talent search and developing this same talent. So uh, this festival for me was actually one of the most fundamental uh, instruments of cultural development and cultural transformation and artistic uh, identification and talent uh, prowess in Zimbabwe. Reporting for ATV in Harare, Zimbabwe. Thank you for joining us. Good night.